Welcome back to another video. Today we have Milwaukee Fuel M18 driven to a perform. Nine inch cutoff saw with one key. 2786-20. This is Fitzsaw M18 batteries. Two only battery and charger uh, not included. So um, they do sell this uh, two only and they do sell it with the kit. I believe with two batteries. Um, this kit does come with um, some blades, so it does come with two different blades. Uh, it says uh, power to cut reinforced concrete, up to 50% lighter than gas, no gas headache, headaches. Um, track and manage one key compatible. Um, I already did open this because I checked it before I made this video, so make sure everything was in there and it works. So you got one key unlocking the digital job sites. This is a smart tool, sync wirelessly so you can sync it to your camera or your camera, your phone or your computer. It says digital platform for tools and equipment. All right, so we'll just unbox this. That's it right there. Um, pretty much on the top, obviously you're gonna see some blades. Um, this is gonna be like a cutoff blade. This is the metal. Uh, it says Milwaukee cutoff wheel. Type one. Uh, you could use it, I guess, with the, some sort of angle grinder. And the uh, cutoff. So it has the tools right there. This is the Diamond Premium Milwaukee, nine inch, two hundred and twenty nine millimeters. Um. It says uh, 5 eighths, 7 eighths in diamond arbor size. Um, it says 6,790 max RPM. Um, it tells you the, the orientation of where it rotates. And you can remove this if, uh, if you need to remove it according to the tool. It is. It is kind of heavy if you're not used to the tools, the bigger tools, but compared to a regular um, cutoff saw, this is actually very light and compact. So, <clears throat> got some instructions there. Some more literature there. You guys see here now uh, you got the water lines here I do prefer the DeWalt I know the DeWalt does have the um, water lines through the inside of the tool this one does have them exposed but then again they're just um, you can uh, take them off and uh, replace them as needed um, this is the battery compartment it's pretty light tool actually um, pretty light for the size uh, once we put a, a big battery in here then it's probably gonna be not so light um, pretty much you got a button here press this button and it releases the the, the cover the battery cover and is I believe this is IP um, rated it does have some uh, weather stripping you can see it. it does have weather stripping there I guess uh, to splash proof maybe not waterproof but splash proof it does have a light here I believe this is the warning light whenever you're pushing this tool to its limit that means just let off the you know the pushing let the tool do the work not just push it in there um let's put a battery in there i don't have a 12 amp hour battery currently i will be getting one soon um so i can power this tool obviously you need a big battery so you can power this big tool um, I do have a 5 amp hour battery for now, but I will be getting a 12 amp hour battery, which is really small, not for this tool. We recommend you getting an, at least an 8 or a 12 amp hour battery. I'm probably going to be getting a, a 12. So as you guys see right there how small that is. You got enough room there for a 12 amp hour. You got the light there, the one key light. As you guys see there, does have a safety switch here, 
So just, I guess, just push it forward. And that's the back side. I don't know if you guys can read that, but we do have 2786-20. Um, 6,600 RP, minimum RPM. So that's the minimum. You got uh, 18 volts, uh, 7 eighths arbor. Mm, you got serial number there. Contains... This is uh, fuel brushless, so this is the fuel version. We do have a tool here, like an installation tool. We have an installation tool, and then we have another one back here. So, so it is included. So all the tools you're gonna need to change the blade. Pretty good. Um, this is the connector for the. For the hose, so I guess you put this on the other side. So you remove one of these. You get the. You get your blade. You have to take this out. Alright, once you knock that thing out, and this does move the Pretty nice. Tools go in here. And one thing that was uh, lost in the box is this the hose adapter for the water. I'll show you guys what that looks like. This is the hose. Like I said, this is for the water. Obviously, you want to make some cuts with the water. Because you don't want to be, be breathing all this dust and uh, it's really bad for you. So once you put some water in there, a hose, uh, you're pretty much good to go on the cutting there. And this is the adapter. So obviously you thread the hose there, your garden hose, and then you got a quick connect there for this. Obviously you lock it in there and you're good to go. And then you got a, a shut off uh, valve here. If you want to shut the, the water off, you can shut it from the tool. Pretty nice feature there. So let's go ahead and try this outside. Overall, I think it's a pretty good quality. I think it, it'll do me fine. We're going to be doing some major, major remodeling in the house. Um, we're going to be replacing some uh, drain. All right, we're testing the 12 amp hour battery to make sure it has a full charge. As you guys see, there is a full charge, a brand new battery, a 12 amp hour battery. And that's the water connector. You have to put it all the way in so you can get water. So if you're not getting any water, make sure you have that connector all the way in because it is um, like a quick type, like an error pretty much like an air uh, compress uh, air hose basically from a compressor um, like a quick connect basically but if you're not getting any water you have to put it all the way in there as you guys see it, it's working really good but um, if you put a lot of a lot of pressure in it um, you start getting that light and that's when you have to let off and just do the, the tool let the do the work basically and just you know just give it as much as the tool needs um, don't overdo it because the tool needs to obviously it, it does the job but it you know at, at its limit uh, it is a battery powered tool so you are gonna have to um, deal with the uh, not the necessarily the lower power it's just that it's slower I would think it's slower and it, you just don't have to put a lot of pressure a little slower than gas 
but still it did pretty good it did pretty fast as you guys see there it's cutting great um, um, and then this is on the same 12 amp hour battery I'm gonna cut basically all this and uh, it's really noisy so I would suggest you guys have like some ear protection and if you're gonna be doing this indoors uh, with the water uh, make sure um, uh, the walls don't get damaged and stuff like that because this throws th this does have a lot of water so you guys see there how it's cutting it's cutting really nice and uh, yeah like I said um these walls I don't really care about these walls because these walls are gonna get redone anyways uh, it's gonna get rebuilt um, that's why I didn't care about the water but if you care about the water I wouldn't use water indoors or if you're going to use it then make sure you guys have like a way to trap the water so it doesn't get to the walls and doesn't make a mess and the battery battery did overheat um, that's one thing um, what happened with this uh, tool that the, the battery overheated and we had to do uh, we had to put a, a 6 amp hour battery it actually it overheated and it died but it wasn't completely dead it was more because of the overheated so we managed to use um, a 6 amp hour battery and here I'm charging the the 12 amp hour battery but it's not really charging because it's really hot and I'm putting a fan here so we can try cooling it down and here we're cutting with the 6 amp hour um, I ended up buying another 12 amp hour battery so I could complete this job um, my neighbor is actually helping me with this so uh, both of us are are doing this uh, this work which is a lot of work um, and I'm already done with this with this remodel that I, I was doing um, but yeah he ended up helping me uh, doing this and I ended up buying another 12 amp hour battery since they had them on sale you know with the free 8 so I went to go ahead and uh, got me another 12 amp hour battery and uh, as you guys see there so um, having uh, a 6 amp hour battery and two 12s I think um, I did it pretty good I wish I had three 12s I would have done it just constantly uh, and also I would suggest you guys getting a fast charger um, or the rapid charger anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing hitting the like hitting the bell icon and we'll see you guys on the next one